What's up YouTube? This is TBT and in this video I'm going to show you how to back up and how to restore a Raspberry Pi image using the terminal and an application called Etcher. So for those of you who like to mess around with various Linux distros like Raspbian or Diet Pi for example, it's always a good idea to make a routine schedule for backing up your data. You could be doing this every week or every other week but it's always a good idea to back up your data. This way, if something were to go wrong in the future, you'd always have a prior copy to fall back onto. First, we'll use the terminal to identify the micro SD card that has a copy of our image file. We'll then create a copy of that image file and store it on our desktop. So to begin, open the terminal and type disk util list. Typing this command will list all internal and external drives that are connected to your Mac. Now at this point, you'll have to identify the drive that is associated with your Raspberry Pi image. In my case, it's dev slash disk4. A quick way for me to identify my Raspberry Pi image is that my micro SD card is 8 gigabytes in size. And that dev slash disk4 is listing a drive that is 8 gigs in size. Once you've identified the drive, type the following. Type sudo dd if equals slash dev slash disk. Now disk 4 is my Raspberry Pi image, so in my case I'm gonna put the number 4. If you've identified the number that is associated with your Raspberry Pi image, then use that number. Now what comes next is the destination path for your backup image. So in that case, we're going to type of equals tilde slash desktop slash pi image dot img. Doing this saves the Raspberry Pi image onto your desktop. Once you've typed out the file path, hit enter and enter your password if prompted to do so. Now for this leg of the process, give it some time. In my case, it took 25 minutes for the backup to complete. And with that, we've successfully performed a backup of our image file using the terminal. Now at this point, I'm going to show you how to perform a restore using the terminal. To begin, type diskutil list and again, visually identify the SD card you'll want to use in the restore process. Once you've done so, type sudo diskutil unmount disk slash dev slash disk4. Remember, in this tutorial, my SD card is listed as disk4. Your SD card may be listed differently, so adjust your input command accordingly. Inputting this command will unmount the SD card so the image can be safely written to it without issue. Once that's done, type sudo dd if equals. Now from here, you can perform one of two actions to get the file path for the image. You can either A, enter the file path manually, or B, drag and drop the image file into the terminal after the equal sign. Once the file path to the image file has been established, hit the space key and add of equals slash dev slash rdisk4 bs equals 5m. Now for clarification, adding the letter r in front of the disk and the bs equal 5 command will help to speed up the process of writing the image to the SD card. Also remember that disk4 is my SD card for this tutorial. If your SD card is listed differently, then you should adjust your input command accordingly. Once that's done, hit enter, and once again, give the terminal some time to complete. In my case, it took about 7 minutes. And with that, we've successfully performed a restore using the terminal. Now, let's say that you're not comfortable in using the terminal to restore an image. Well, there's an easier way to do so, with an app called Etcher. Performing a restore via the app can be done in three simple steps. 
First, find and select the image file. Then, select the SD card you want to use. In my case, it's disk 4. And finally, hit the flash button. Just like that, a simple, easy 123 restore with Etcher. And with that, we've reached the end of our tutorial on how to back up and how to restore an image file using a series of terminal commands and an app called Etcher. At this point, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch this video, and I do hope that you're able to take something away from this. And if you've yet to do so, leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. This is TBT, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.